Here are some common fixes for audio problems with TikTok Live Studio. And you want to begin just by checking what audio sources you have added to Live Studio. And we click the audio mixer at the bottom here. And let's go over what we need added here. For most people, that means one microphone, one audio, and the sound effects you can't really change. So if you've accidentally got multiple microphones or output items added here, then let's look at how to delete some of them. So you're just gonna click on the settings symbol next to it, and then you just press the delete audio button until you've got one of each. Once you have one of each, we're gonna click into the settings again and make sure the right thing is added. So in this case, it's the microphone and my correct microphone for me is my quadcast. And I also strongly recommend you enable the noise suppression at least on 50%. The other default settings are typically fine so we'll press save and we'll just double check the output as well and that's usually your headset so for me that is my cloud to wireless and we'll press save again and now we have our microphone and our headset correctly added to live studio as i said the sound effects are not too relevant that's just this button here which you can manually trigger or trigger with keybinds as you can see there's also these audio sliders if you want to increase or decrease the volume levels on each piece of audio and they have this test button which says check how your voice sounds to viewers Equally though, you can just ask your viewers once you're live. So that's really it for the main audio settings, but keep watching, I've got a few other things you can try as well. Firstly, for those of you using Tickfinity. So most commonly, Tickfinity users might have screen one added or any of the URLs from things like the goal overlays, basically anything that you copied from Tickfinity into Live Studio, you might have issues with this. So firstly, of course, just make sure you've copied the right thing. On the actions and events page, check the screen number. You can see most things here are on screen one. Of course, the audio won't play if the screen isn't added. So make sure you've clicked on it to copy the URL and then add it into Live Studio as a link source. And crucially, when you're in your link source settings here, make sure turn on sound is checked. You can, of course, verify things are working on Tickfinity by using the simulate buttons. There's also a little play icon. And similarly, on some of the other pages, there's usually a test button against what you want to check the audio of. You can also try a simple trick of simply right-clicking the link source, deleting it and re-adding it. And if things still aren't working, you can, of course, uninstall Live Studio and reinstall it. And for those of you with NVIDIA graphics cards, I recommend you download the NVIDIA app. I'll put that in the description and just click on drivers on the left and check that you have the most recent driver. Speaking of NVIDIA, there's another audio tool you can try if your microphone or speakers are sounding bad. That's called NVIDIA Broadcast. I'll put that in the description. Basically, what you do if you want to try and improve the audio, you choose the correct microphone from the microphone list, choose the correct speaker from the speakers list. So for me, that's my Cloud2 wireless speaker. And then just add relevant effects that you need to add. Usually, these will be microphone effects that you want to add. So I'm going to leave my speakers alone and we'll head into the microphone settings. So if your room's really bad with echo or you need to remove noise like fans or AC, then you would add both of these. And then what you would do inside the audio mixer, instead of having your microphone added as your source, you would then change it to NVIDIA Broadcast. You'd actually turn off the noise suppression because NVIDIA Broadcast is doing that for you. So that's a little tool that will hopefully improve the sound of your microphone if Live Studio is not doing it. And finally, if you're still struggling, there is a way to set up your stream inside OBS, including all of the audio, and then you send the whole thing into Live Studio. That uses the OBS virtual cam and a virtual audio cable to send the sound. And I've got a full video about that. I'll put that on the screen now.